All right, people, welcome back. More card reviews. So today, we are looking at a card that supports the Magnet Warriors. We have a new Magnet Warrior, so that's actually pretty good. But uh, this is actually going to be a two-parter, because the two cards that we're going to be reviewing uh, this week for card review both have to do with, I want to say rock decks, but this one has to do with Magnetic Warrior, so Magnetic Warrior support, both of them. So uh, we have this one today, and then, of course, the other one on Wednesday. So let's start it off by looking at Delta, the Magnet Warrior. Yes, another Magnet Warrior. We got, we got Alpha, Beta, Gamma, and now we got Delta. I believe No, no. Is that the order? Oh, that, hold on, I'm getting off topic, but I was like... Is that, is that the order from the robots from, you know, Sonic Adventure? But I don't think there was an Alpha unless there was, like, E100 Alpha. But, of course, Beta. And, of course, Gamma. And I believe after that, the blue one, I believe his name was Delta. So, then Epsilon and Zeta. All right, I mean, I'm getting off topic. But, yeah, so, so I guess this is the fourth robot. And uh, this isn't, you know, the new Electronic Warriors. No, this is the OG. This is the Magnet Warrior. This is the level four one. But he has an effect, and uh, hopefully he can be of use to both the Magnet Warriors and the Electromagnetic Warriors. So this is Delta, the Magnet Warrior, and he is a V-Jump promo. RIP! So, it's going to be a while before he's able to be used. Like, they couldn't put him in the structure deck, too? Like, come on, come on, man. Uh, he's Earth, Rock, Effect, Level 4. 1600 attack, 1400 defense, stats are fine. He's Level 4, so unlike the Electromagnetic Warriors, he's closer to the Magnet Warriors as a Level 4, so... You know, will he have the synergy? Because, I mean, you can't really go into uh, Gorgonian Guardian with him, so rip. Anyway, uh, this card is normal or special summon. You can send one level 4 or lower magnet monster from your deck to your graveyard. That is really good for the Electromagnetic Warriors. Um, if you don't know this, and you might not know, especially if you saw me just playing on Daily Duels, but the Electromagnetic Warriors actually have an effect where during, uh, I believe it's during either player's turn or maybe just during your opponent's turn, you could tribute them to summon... Um, a Magnet Warrior, a level 4 Magnet Warrior from your deck, but I didn't have any, you know, why the fuck am I going to run shitty ass Alpha, Beta, and Gamma? You're just normal monsters, they don't do shit, and while I was running, um, Valkyrion, just to fuse into, of course, my big old condom, my Magnum, why would I ever run those three? You know, I didn't need them, and I really didn't even need to summon Valkyrion unless, you know, Magnum was going to, I believe, remove from the field by a card effect, and I get to summon both uh, Valkyrion and Verzion. But why would I ever say it? You know, I never really summon it. But you can summon this through them. And that really gets freaking Verizion set up real quick. Real quick, this effect. So I can, for example, let's just apply. I can summon Alpha. Alpha can search for Beta. Then, during your turn, when you go after my Alpha that I summon, I can tribute it to summon this from my deck. Delta, if this card is normal or special summon, I can send one level 4 lower magnet wire from my deck to the graveyard. Send Gamma. So, there you go. I already have attributed Alpha, so he's in the graveyard. I, I just sent Gamma, so he's in the graveyard. And I have the Beta in my hand. Beta, summon Beta, search for Verizion. Bam, right there. I had summoned Verizion. Like, this gets Verizion set up real quick. And that's pretty good, you know? Uh, if, if, I could, if I could go back, if I could go back and play Electromagnetic Warriors in Daily Duels, would I put this in my deck? Yeah, I would. I would go ahead and put this in there. You know? And while it's my deck is more condom focused instead of the actual, you know, uh, relying on the, you know, the, the plays of Verizion, uh, it's still, it's still a great play. It's still a great play. Uh, but it also has another effect. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can banish three level four or lower magnet monsters from your graveyard, except for Delta the Magnet Warrior, so you can't banish itself or any copy of itself, but you can banish three level four or lower magnet warriors, so just any of the other Magnet Warriors, like the Warriors, whatever, banish them. Special Summon 1 Valkyrion, the Magna Warrior, from your hand or deck, ignoring summoning conditions. You can only use the effect of Delta once per turn. So, uh, you might see, there's like, there's like half and half. There's some Electromagnetic Warrior decks where you will not see Valkyrion at all. You don't need it. It's just mostly Verizion, right? And then you'll see decks like mine, which are like more folk geared towards fusing, going to Magnum and Condom. And while I do have Valkyrion, uh, could I pull this effect off? Yeah, I could. I could. And it really depends on what state of the duel it's in. It wouldn't be a terrible play, but it's not the greatest go-to play. Is it doable? Yes. But I would have to banish three of my Magnet Warriors, which the only Magnet Warriors are running are my Electromagnet Warriors. I have to banish three of them. And that includes targets for uh, Verizion 
to start with some of Valkyria. I mean, while Valkyria has better stats, he really doesn't have an effect. It's not like I'm going to tribute off in some of the other Magna Warriors. I'm not running them. So I would really just be doing this to summon out another beater in Valkyria. So, I mean, it's a great way. It's a great effect to have that you don't even have to run the other Magna Warriors. You can just go ahead and banish Electron Magna Warriors. And if you are running the other Magna Warriors, you can use them too. But it's good that it says level four or lower because they could have just said level four magnet warriors and just be like rip well if i'm gonna have the reg og magnet warriors i ain't doing shit but it's level four or lower electromagnet court there's magnet in their name you can use them banish you know three of them and it doesn't even have to be with different names it could be literally like three gammas or three alphas or three betas to sudden as a clearing from your hand or deck ignoring summoning conditions that's pretty cool that really is that really is so overall i think this card's really cool you know uh I kind of wish that it wasn't a V jump promo, and you know it was just in a structure deck. So, rip on that. But overall, I, I just like that um, it sets up. It sets up Verizion real quick, real quick. It sets up Verizion, and then uh, summons a Valkyrion for you. Like this one card will summon a Valkyrion for you if you uh, meet the condition. So overall, not bad. So yeah, I, I, I give it a pass. I give it a pass. So. Tell me what you guys think about Delta the Magnet Warrior in the comment section below. Like I said, on Wednesday, we'll be looking at another card that has to do with more support for the Magnet Warrior. And while everybody's on that ABC jock, and they definitely are, I mean, look at OCG, I'd probably one at least top two in the OCG. It's a, you know, it's a structure deck, it's going to be coming out in the TCG, you know, it's probably going to do well here. There's also another structure deck that has to do with the Magnet Warriors, and, you know, after playing it on Daily Duels, I mean, I would gladly go ahead and go to the store, pick up the ring, make that common deck in real life, because it's strong. I mean, I'm summoning about fucking 4,000, I mean, I'm pretty much summoning a Quasar with ease, so, well, everybody's on that ABC jock, I mean, I'm, I got the love for the Magnet Warrior, so. <laughs> so, I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.